I'm going to quickly show you how to use machine translation in SEL Shadow Studio. I'm going to go to options and then on the left menu you are going to go to language pairs, you click on it, all language pairs and then translation memory and automated translation. Automated translation is machine translation. So you're going to go to the use button and if you do have a subscription, if you pay for machine translation, um, it's called the SEL Machine Translation Cloud Provider, you should download the app and then you enter your credentials from here. I don't, I don't have a subscription, so I'll, I'll just show you how it's done. Use your user credentials or your client credentials, whatever it is that you have. I don't have that, so if you only have your license, if you don't pay monthly for the service, you just select SEL Language Cloud. And it should work in a similar way. So my languages are English to Spanish. And as you can see, this engine was um, selected automatically. In this case, it's the generic NMT. NMT stands for Neural Machine Translation, which is the most uh, the newest model, the best one out there. So we just click on Save and OK. So I'm going to show you how it looks. I'm going to go to Editor. And you see on the translation results window, I have my results from the translation, from the machine translation engine. So in this case, um, it's not a very good one in some languages. Machine translation works better in other one in other languages. Eh, it just doesn't. It's not bad, but it's not the best. So I'm going to start. Uh, I wanted to show you. You can um, you can just start start typing whatever it is that you see in the results, or you can press Control T and the results will be pasted uh, automatically, and then you can edit whatever it is that you have from here. The other option is to have these results copied automatically here. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Go to File again, Options, and then again you're going to go to, no, now this, this time you're going to go to Editor, uh, Automation, and you're going to choose the third option right here, Applied Automated Translation when no TM match is found. What this means is that if uh, Studio doesn't, found, doesn't um, find a result from the translation memory, from your translation memory, either the local translation memory or the uh, server-based translation memory, it will use the result from the machine translation uh, in your, it will paste the results into your segment right here. So if I go to a new segment, you see that the results were pasted automatically, just inserted automatically. So in this case, um, segment number four, that translation is pretty good. The rest, not so much. So the other cool thing that you can do with the results from the machine translation is use it with the auto suggestion. So the auto suggestions are basically these are the auto suggestions that I have. So once you start typing the first three letters, you will see a bunch of results coming from your translation memory, or in this case from machine translation, because my current translation memory is empty, so I don't get any results from it. So I can just use the arrows to select these results and then just press Enter to insert it. And the translation for Darwin Information Typing Architecture is not correct, but I do have the correct translation from my term base. You can see it on the right side of the screen, right here. So if I start typing Arquitectura, I will have the results from my term base here. And I will know it's from the term base because of the, the icon that I have here is green. And I don't know if you can see the icon is very tiny, but it's uh, basically a book 
with the caption A to Z. It's very tiny. And th that's the way that you identify where the auto suggestions come from. So I'll just press enter to insert it. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go to file uh, options. I don't want to have the results from the machine translation applied automatically. Just don't like it. So that's it. Another thing that I wanted to bring up, uh, and this is, um, if you don't care about concordance search, you can just stop watching the video right here. But a client of mine had this issue. It's not really a problem. It's not a bug. It's just the, the, the behavior of studio. Sometimes you want to see a result, uh, the results from your concordance search. Sometimes the source that you have is a partial match um, and you won't see the results from your translation memory. But sometimes you know that you have selected maybe frequently asked questions as part of a previous translation that you have done and you have it a bunch of times so you don't want to type it again or you don't remember how you translated it in the first place and you will want Studio to look it up automatically. Now, I'm going to close this. Now, if you have translation uh, machine translation enabled, the results won't be shown at me. Go to File Options first. And you go to, no, you go to Editor, Concordance Search Window. OK, from here, you have the option to perform a concordance search if the translation memory lookup returns no results. The problem when you select this option is that the results on this screen, on this window, I'm sorry, will be covered by this window, the concordance search window. Usually this concordance search window is placed on the same area as the translation results. So you go to another segment and you won't see anything because you don't get a result from your translation memory because in this case my translation memory is empty uh, and maybe you just won't have any results even if your translation memory is not empty um, and you won't get any results from the from the machine translation because the system will highlight the results from the concordance search but if you don't have any results from the concordance search you won't get any results at all so what you want to do in this situation is just want to move this concordance search window to another area of your screen. So you just go to concordance search and at the bottom you will see a tab. You can't see it very clearly because of the resolution of my computer um, but basically you just click on concordance search on this area and drag it down. Just don't stop clicking on it. You just click here until the screen turns blue and without uh, letting go of the mouse button, the, the of the mouse button, you drag it down and you're st I'm still clicking on the on the left button in my mouse and I'm going to go to this bottom uh, box over here to move that particular tab to another window, to another area of the screen. And now I will see the results from the concordance search and they won't cover, they won't hide the results from the machine translation or the uh, translation memory. And that's it.